What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at what's coming Monday. So I'm just going to keep this short and sweet, right? We have a couple of things to talk about. Firstly, I'm just going to hit this off because Bayern Munich did actually tweet out that they've added their new kit to the game, right? So this is check out our new kit in 3D on eFootball 2024. Play as Bayern on the game for free now and hashtag eFootball, right? So this is obviously a partnership, Bayern versus and eFootball. Um, are in together. The new Bayern jersey is now available in eFootball 2024. So that's actually there as of right now. Um, you don't have to wait till Monday for that. Monday is usually going to be kind of like a content, and I say the word content um, very, very loosely because it is just going to be a card refresh, right? And I don't think that we're going to get a big refresh in the style of content and the release of content until eFootball 2025. You can see here that we have a, a whopping 10 packs, including the AFC Champions League, the Japanese, the Encore, all the way to the end here with the nominating contracts, which are free. There is 10 packs that are going to be updated and upgraded on Thursday, the 13th of June, okay? The only pack that is going to be refreshed on Monday, unless they add another pack, we'll get into that in a second, is going to be these national attackers. Forland, Torres, and Ribri will be gone tomorrow, obviously, on Monday, and they're going to be replaced, right? Now, whether they add another player of the week selection or national team player of the weeks with the friendlies, they don't usually bring friendlies into rotation. But, I mean, because they're kind of like waiting to launch, I think, with, with the Euro content, Euro 2024, I think that they are going to throw out a lot of stuff into that. Also, on top of that as well, right, will we get the, the free player reset? A lot of people were asking me about that with the player free re-reset re for training players. I don't think we'll get it until Thursday. And even if we do get it Thursday, it'll probably only be for the month as well. Let's see, because they will change the gameplay. And you probably will, usually when they bring a player reset, it's when the gameplay has changed so that you can test things, tweak things, and then move on. Um... But we'll get into that in tomorrow's live stream. We are going to be streaming Monday as well. And also, we will talk about UFL a little bit. I did a big six-hour, seven-hour stream on UFL to give that a go. We'll have a video up on that as well. So, you know, apart from the actual eFootball League and the, the match pass, they were all obviously scheduled to end last week, but they didn't. And they're going to be pushed forward now until the 13th of June, as you see there, uh, 13th of the 6th. They're going to be the big change. That's when the big change is going to come in, right? Also with the daily game, a few people were asking me about this daily game as well. They have actually added one new player to this. If you're still spinning, you can still um, go for that. But the lap rewards now, they have actually added to that. And I don't think we'll see a big change to this again until eFootball 2025. Not even Thursday. I don't think we'll see a big change to this Thursday. But they have added Ruben Neves. I've got every player apart from Nevis and Wilshire, so I've got some, you know, two good players for free here within the next couple of um, rotations around, you know, when I clear the board, right? And Ruben Nevis is down as a Portuguese orchestrator. He's down as a Portuguese, as you see there. Daily bonus, highlight card, big time, showtime, whatever you want to call it. And he's got game change and pass, as you see there, right? Now, I will also say on top of that, lads, that the cards that they could start releasing soon, a lot of people have been asking me about cards, right? And I'm just going to go through a couple of cards. We did look at Forlan, we did look at Ribri, we did look at Torres, we know that they're going to be gone. And these aren't going to be refreshed. There's still three days left in these, so that'll bring us up to the Thursday update, which if it is V3.6, um, or if it's something but you know below that and V3.6 is going to be held back till maybe the end of June, and then we'll have you know maybe a month or two until we get eFootball 2025 and how that's going to work. But I do feel like that they probably will empty the coffers here and bring back either Showtime cards that they've previously released. You guys have to understand, right? And I know a lot of you playing the game for a long time do. There's a brand new fan base with this game every month. You know, people say, why did they re-release cards? Well, it's because people are crying out for cards that they might have never got before. If you played the game uh, a year ago and you had the chance to spin for Trent or Trippier or Shaw or any of these that you're seeing, if you had the chance to spin for the Bayern pack or the Barcelona pack, brilliant. But some people that didn't get the chance, they know that they can make money out re-releasing these packs. They already have the assets done. They already have the cards done. They already have the bills done. They already have the graphics. It's a simple case to just flick a switch, bring it out. And even if, you know, 10% of the fan base actually spin for these again, they're going to make bank, you know, with previous assets, right? So, you know, I don't know what you guys think of that. Let me know in the comments below if you like those re-releases. Some people like them, some people don't. Some people are you know, playing on new accounts. Some people are like playing the game for the first time. But that is the logic behind it. And I don't think that, uh, 
eFootball 2025 can really rest on its laurels that way, especially when you see what UFL are trying to do. And even though I've got a lot of issues with UFL, which I've got into my video and we'll do another video on, I do like some of the progression stuff and the actual grind of building up a squad. You know what I mean? We'll get into that, right? Um, because I feel like the early grind in eFootball is a big one uh, that you miss out on. Also with the Euro content, I don't think we'll see any of this until Thursday. I know a few people were asking me, will we see new European style cards with these kind of prints? These were re released before, like a year ago. Um, and I do think that we will see selections like this. And I also think that they might bring back previous legends like the likes of Cruyff, Raul, previous boosters like that, old school ones, or even tie it in with national team guardians. Roberto Carlos, Nesta and Can would be a good pack to bring out. And then they also have a couple of unreleased ones as well. You know, the likes of Young Maldini, they have another version of Nesta there. There's a lot of different cards in there. Tony Adams is still there. But I do think that they will focus on the national team to tie in to the next big update that they have. So let me know in the comments below, lads, what you want to see in Thursday's big update. Let me know your hype levels right now. Are you kind of, you know, indifferent towards things? Are you looking forward to Thursday and looking forward to eFootball 2025? Or are you just, you know, uh, have you had enough? Have you moved on? But that is what is coming Monday, lads. Short and sweet. I will catch you in the live stream tomorrow. We'll have a chat. We'll have a debate or two about the game. I'll play a little bit more UFL. I'm not too sure I'll get on today to play a bit of UFL, but I might. We'll see before the beta ends. Other than that, I will talk to you guys in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button if you're enjoying the content. Peace.